when I think of Eric Church, I think of an artist that has cut his own way and been told no and proved people wrong. Church told everybody basically to fuck off. <laughs> this is me and I'm gonna do it. He's uh, an inspiration to all of us that want to do something different. These boots, two pink lines, a lot of boot left to fill. Those first two Eric Church albums were the, were the only two albums that stayed in my, in my truck uh, in high school and in college. He, he is my, my all-time favorite. Living Part of Life was like one of the first songs I learned how to play on guitar. You know, those first two were probably the biggest reason that I wanted to, to write country songs. He's so brilliant. Some songs, some people might not even catch the brilliance of the way it's written, I think. I don't know that I've ever gotten to actually tell him face to face, but he knows I'm a fan. I know that, but I wish I could explain to him, man, you were a big reason why I wanted to write songs and, and wanted to make people feel the way you made me feel when I listened to your music. I've always been kind of a person that doesn't have a lot of damps to give. And so in discovering Eric, I found out that it was okay to be that way. And not only was it okay to be that way, but it was necessary to be that way. Back from when we were out playing with him, his show then was was incredible. It was one of the best shows I've ever seen of any artist in any genre. This guy's, you know, you come out and you hear all these songs that some of them are deep cuts and the whole crowd knows them and sings along and it's fun. It kind of reminds me of, you know, almost like a jam band kind of mentality. It's, it's really cool. Y'all already know how much I love Eric. He is the king in my book. No one does authentic or real or what you see is what you get better than Eric Church. He's one of those guys that what I love about it is he's not scared to go for it. With Eric, each project is a very different project, but you get that Eric thing. But I just love that he has uh, the guts to just go for it and not and not really worry too much about people saying, well, this isn't like the last church record. I like what Eric does. He, d he does really interesting, cool things. On He takes, takes stretches, you know, and, and takes chances on things, which are, you always, as an artist you always love to see and you love to hear. Um, I think he, he pushes the envelope, which is always good. Uh, I, I really like his attitude. I like the way he performs. I think he's an important part of country music today. I've always loved his music, but I didn't really – know a whole lot about him until he went on the road uh, with us in 2013. It didn't take me long to figure out that this guy was really for real, that he had a lot to say, and he wanted to say it in a way that nobody else said it. Eric has a way of reaching out and grabbing a hold of his audience and pulling them across the fence towards him. And that's it's something that you can't teach. I don't care if you're selling shoes or music. If you don't show people that you care, then why should they care? And Eric really cares. Eric texted me about loving 80s Mercedes. He thought it was a great song and he loved it, listening to it. But, you know, I'm such a church fan myself and I feel like, you know, I, I love literally every record he puts out is so genius. So to have that text from, you know, little Eric Church. <laughs> I was trying not to get too big of a head. The thing I've always admired about Eric is just his, um, the truth in his calling, you know. Uh, he's a real artist. He just, um, just follows his own drummer. And um, he's non-categorizable. That's what I love about him. That's what I love about him. You can't categorize what he does. I think it's record to record. Um, he's gonna, he's gonna infuse whatever is speaking to him at any given time into what he's doing, and um, but I think his his narrative as a writer and his voice uh, is the, is the through line. You know, for me on on everything I hear, his it's always that rock steady northern star that connects all the different. Um, experiments that he has, as, you know, in record making, it's great songs. You know, I want to say, I want to, I want to mention that about Jay Joyce and him working together <clears throat> on these records, not just the songs, but they're great records. Um, the rhythmic thing that happens in the second verse of of some of it, so freaking good. It's just such a great little rhythmic soup thing that happens right when you just, you just to hold your attention. Really good record making. It's not a, it's not a basic session, you know. 
you can feel it. And um, I really love and respect and appreciate that those guys go to the nth degree to not only get a great song, but once you've got this great song, they then can turn it into great records. That's why they go number one. Well, they should all go number one. They should all go number one, Eric. But man, I just always, you know, I really gravitated towards the songwriting and um, that was the thing. You know, I just, there was some sort of relatability um, that I wasn't getting from other people that I was hearing uh, at that time. And, and I, there's still a lot of that for me. I think it's it's impacted the way that I write songs, I, certainly, without a doubt. As, and I would say that, you know, his music has had the biggest impact on my songwriting. I don't know, man. Just something about him and his attitude and just the way that he, he's also, you can tell that he just don't care either. You know, he's like, here I am. And I've always loved people like that. I've always been drawn to people like that. He's a really good poet, man, and just has a cool vibe. I've known him a long time. We, you know, kind of got started roughly about the same time. He just never ceases to amaze me sometimes at his writing and the record year, Round Here Buzz, uh, Springsteen, all that stuff, man. It's just really, really good. So Judy and I are watching Criminal Minds, and uh, I get this text from Ronnie Dunn. It says, Eric Church has name drops you in a song at the CMA uh, Video Awards. Uh, so I say, Judy, Eric's singing about me on TV. And Judy says, well, we're not changing the channel till Spencer finds the serial killer. So I had to wait till the next day to hear this song called Mr. Misunderstood, where he names dropped me with uh, uh, Elvis Costello and Jeff Twitty. And I'm going, whoa, you know how, you know, Strange as that, because I never, you know, never met the cat. But then he calls me up and he says, uh, "I'm writing this album, doing this album, and uh, I've got this song title. I want to write this song with you called Desperate Man." So me just being an old smartass, I said, "Well, one time I was so desperate, I went to a fortune teller to get my future read, and she said I didn't have one." And Eric said, "Okay, we'll make that the last verse." And so I um, went up to Nashville, met with him, and we got, he had this incredible, cool groove. And we just uh, started talking about uh, the, the situations of how, what a desperate man would do. And so we wrote this song. And after we wrote it, it took about, you know, two, two and a half hours. Uh, and the thing I really noticed at that point that, you know, besides Eric being the entertainer guy, that he still, he writes from a place where the true poet lives, that he, he uh, lyrics are very important to him, and, and he was just a straight-up songwriter with uh, a lot of integrity. Then it came out, of course, did, you know, really well. And uh, and the, the thing with me, it just really, uh, I mean, it's made an incredible difference. It kind of, I've never been a... a I've never had anything on the country charts <laughs> ever, <laughs> you know. And so to have that song, you know, I think the number one album uh, and all that stuff, it just really, it gave me a little validation, you know. I mean, a lot of validation, as a matter of fact. It's kind of like, am I an old cat? I've been doing this for a long time. It's just kind of like if I had, but uh, getting the song with Eric Church, uh, it's kind of like I got a, a nod of approval from the universe saying, yeah, man, you're doing okay. And so uh, it really uh, meant a great deal uh, to me to have, uh, to have a co-route with Eric Church. I mean, that's uh, a pretty badass. <laughs>